there everyone, King Swat here, and welcome back to Cold Waters. Uh, we're continuing our campaign as a Los Angeles class uh, tax sub, and uh, last episode we did two missions, I believe. I uh, can't remember, it's been a few hours since I've recorded, and you know, old age, brain power problems. Alright, let's review. You're not of eight tea lambs. Do we have eight tea lambs? We do. And where are we going? Okay. So we're going to go to Gramika, I think is what it's called. And uh, we're going to go hit that base. T-Lamps. I've never had the T-Lamps work for me. Not really sure what to do. Does it... Yeah. Am I sub getting slower? Like, it seems a little ridiculous. Look how slow this thing is. Supposed to go 33 knots, I think. This is crazy. This is slower than Russian subs. There was a Russian sub around here. I don't know where it just went. Well, oh, there it is. I went to see now. Come on, baby. You can do it. Look how slow this thing goes. But yet, when I uh, get into contact, going at this pace it'll still list me as going like 26 knots yeah all right no idea what it is probably a sub we have a new sonar contact bearing 97 designate 01 our depth 600 feet our heading 176 so it's going to be off to our port side and our speed is 26 knots local conditions clear and calm strong surface duct moderate thermal layer let me go ahead and close make sure we've got everything loaded up three torpedoes one moss Go silent as soon as we get in. All right. Uh, we are deep, but not deep. Okay. So what side did I say was going to be on? It's going to be like we're here. All right. Let's go into the map just so we don't see what this thing is. Wow. We've got like nothing yet. Check out conditions. So we've got that moderate layer. So we're gonna come up. They come up fairly quickly too. It's at 225 feet, so that's okay. We're starting to get a little more info on it now, so we can kind of start classifying it. Like an alpha. We're gonna actually hold at 500 feet or around there. Get another one, CR2. Victor. Uh, Sierra. Alpha and Sierra, maybe. So CR2 is cavitating. Make sure that we're on our own sub. Gonna. So that would be an alpha. There's the Sierra. Which one's a bigger threat, I wonder? I'm gonna turn to them a little bit. All right, so we're at 46 percent, 40 percent for a uh, solution. They are deep as well. Holy crap! I don't normally run into Russian subs down at. Uh, you know, 500 meters or 500 feet or so. I suppose 450 is actually not bad. So we've already got the uh, heading on the Alpha. It's like such a sleek little boat. All those Russian ones did. Go back to ourselves. And basically make our heading about the same as him. Probably about one, 105. Got a really good solution on the Alpha right now. Alright. So he is going away from us, so he's not going to be able to hear us. 
great. I'm gonna keep everything as is. We're gonna fire. Weapon activate. 5.6 kilometers or 600 yards. Just short of like 5.6 kilometers, something like that. And we're gonna keep an eye on that uh, Sierra. It's only at 48% for him. The Alpha we're doing good with. Love it. I do love the paint job on the uh, Sierra. He's pinging away with active. So now, this sub here, you see like these two little propellers on it? That's for like, it's ultra quiet, apparently. Uh, it's basically just like battery operated uh, motors. That'd go really slow, I think. Let's check our torpedo. Just putting along, minding its own business. Miss like, you know, Silent Hunter and stuff when you used to be able to see the trails above water. There's us in the background. That looks like the enemy over there. So, for some reason, like, we were going northeast, east, like that direction, and we came up on behind these guys, and uh, I don't know if he was automatically going that way, like, already, or if he turned to basically run away, but uh, it's interesting. We're going to pull this out and have it activate a little closer. So he won't hear it. He probably won't hear it anyway. Alpha's still only going 10 knots, not moving. You know, he's not taking evasive action or anything like that, so... Let that torpedo get as close in as we can to him. And if we need to, we'll manually activate it. See a shadow on the uh, seafloor. This dude here is driving me nuts with the sonar. Still only at 51%. Like that alpha is starting to dive a little bit. So he just launched a torpedo. That's not good. Sierra 3? What? Okay, we're going to go back to our torpedo really quickly. And we're close enough to activate that. That's good. We're going to have a look at Sierra 3, see what we can find. Alpha is cavitating. Sierra 3. Seems to be a Victor 3. Huh. We're going to steer that... Uh, Torpedo back around. Just that heading. There we go. And come to port. He was just pinging away like full speed, well, not full speed, but uh, basically I was just going in like a straight line. So we're going to go have a look at where that torpedo is just so we don't steer towards it. We're actually going to go to starboard a little bit. Really hoping it doesn't pick me up. Sheer fact that we're not going very fast. <laughs> so the alpha basically just drove himself into the bottom. much uh, vodka, I think. What do you guys think? Kind of want to load a sea lance, but at the same time, I don't. Would be good to reach out and touch that Sierra with the... Oh yeah, it's definitely a victory. Three. It's on the hunt. Make sure there's no more torpedoes here. This one... It's taken some interest in us, but not much. So just the one torpedo. So we got the Victor. 
And we don't have the Sierra, apparently. He's still only at 53. Just lost the victor. We know he's out there. Keep that in mind. Sierra's gonna launch another uh, torpedo, I can tell. Yep. Kind of a cool shot. Get down low so that we can uh, get into like <laughs> flank speed if we need to. That first torpedo we locked in. That's the only good thing about those torpedoes. Um, yeah, they can get over here really quickly. But if you're not in the area that they're looking, um, pretty easy to evade. These dudes definitely don't like me, that's for sure. There's that torpedo. That's the uh, explosion from the booster, I believe. Crap. That's not good. Oh. Okay, so he's turning to starboard. We're going to turn to port. Let him pass over us. Hopefully buy us a little bit of time. There we go. Hopefully it gets sucked up on that noisemaker. Buys us a little bit more time. I think it is. It does appear to be. Great. No, it's just going into its regular search pattern, I think. Yes. No, oh, no, there we go. It's coming back around. Come on, baby. You can do it. Alright, so that Sierra's still up there. Sierra's becoming a problem. Okay, it's sucked up on the noisemaker. Good. And we're far enough away now. Slow it down and see if we can't hear these guys. So we are getting pinged again. I think by both. We're going to fire down the bearing here in a minute. I'm going to starboard a little bit. Much that I don't want to put my side towards them. Maybe we're actually deep enough right now. Now let's go ahead and fire on that bearing. There we go. Not a very good bearing, but uh, or good solution. Oh shit! I should have expected that. Leave that back there. Gonna turn towards it. Just kind of suicidal, I think. Let's go shallow. Leave that down here. Shit. That's not good. Did we lose anything? No. We're going to go ahead and fire that moss. Ah, shit. We're still going too fast. That sucks. 
All right, we're going to reload. Tube three. Sea Lance. Which might be a mistake, might not be. And these guys are ruthless. Not too worried about uh, poking my sail out. They're hunting us. Damage control. It's the torpedo tube that we've uh, got a mess made of. All right. See if we can't drop this in. Really don't think he's that close. Drop it in from here. So they're launching one, I'm launching one. That's where the Sierra is, I believe. Oh no, that's where the Victor is. Alright, this could be interesting. Very interesting. Oh, that was a perfect shot by the looks of this. His was also a good shot. Kind of sucks. Excellent. Yeah, I'm on. You can do it. You can do it. Get under him. There we go. So <laughs> we managed to get that victor with basically like a little snapshot. Um, in his direction. Um, wait, one, two, three. Do we? The other one? We got the Sierra too. Oh wow! So that torpedo we did that, uh, like where we shot down the bearing of the active sonar actually got him. So as long as we can survive, I'm not going to do that uh, T land mission. We're going to try and get back to base and repair. Cause that guy to do some. Homing. Hopefully, come off the path. Back, we don't have any flooding, is really good right now. Definitely gonna go repair. Repair that torpedo tube as well. That was my mistake. Oh, I'm so happy that we got that uh, Sierra. Maybe we can get down to where we can stop cavitating. There we go. Another, what, 50 feet? So all the planes up. Ballast. Force out all the water. And let's see how high we can get before that thing comes back around. Holy moly, this thing can move when it wants to, of course. Obviously not quick enough because of this big travesty. Horrible mess. We need to get away from that torpedo. Don't even know where we're at. There we go. Sailing on the surface almost. Just under per periscope depth. It's a... Uh, a little bit farther. There we go. And there goes that torpedo. <laughs> Hello, I'm here for you. All right, we're going to see if we can leave. We can leave. We're going to leave and then get the hell out of here. 
We've got 22 ad caps, four mosses to UGMs, three sea lances, and we sunk an alpha, Sierra, and Victor 3, so we classified them correctly. All right. All done, but unfortunately, this was not your mission. Shit. Get away from me. Slow. I don't like you. Get away. This guy's probably gonna like branch out into the Regency and detect us. Or engage us. Ah, oh, shit. Get away. Get away. Get away. We'll come back and hunt ya. I will come back and get you. I will break you. Let's go back to port. What is this? Sweden under attack. Yeah, it's Sweden. Probably for the best, anyway. Sweden's, like, killing itself now, anyway. So maybe we let the Russians have it. Alright, so for 20 ships sunk, 108,000 tons. Not that good. Repairs needed. Yeah, yeah. Dear God, 30 hours. Apparently that uh, TLAM mission's still a go. We're going to load one of these, one of these, and some more torpedoes. Okay, I guess we're still going to go for that uh, Gramika base way over there with the TLAMs. Just want to try and sink something. Actually, you know what, guys? I'm going to end this video here for now. And uh, we're just going to hold it here. And uh, let me know what you think. Feel free to leave a comment. Um, until then, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.